Hello, Duncan. Hello, Lewis. Uh, this is Civilization 1. <laughs> ah, by MicroPro Software Inc. So this was actually... This is called Civilization. It's not Sid Meier's Civilization, but that's how they marketed it. Oh. And in fact, this is the only game made by Sid Meier of the Civilization series. No. Yes. Uh, he didn't actually do any of the coding on any of the others at all. Was he, like, designer on them, though? He was involved... With two, I think he made like a battle system for two. Right. I've got his actually. I've got his autobiography here, so I can actually check. He made. Oh, a, I bought you that, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, he made some sort of battle system for two. Right. But I mean, he obviously did make a lot of games, like Railroad Tycoon and other famous games before this. You know, he was a video game maker, and he did make this. Did he make um, that pirates game as well? He made pirates as well. That's quite famous. Yeah. That was quite new. Uh, but the main reason he's on everything is because there was this copyright thing, and also it's a brand thing. You know, it mm. became synonymous, right, with him. Yeah, it's like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I don't. Tony Hawk's made that game. Yeah. Oh, exactly. <laughs> anyway, we're here to play Civ One. So first of all, we need to pick a graphics mode. So I'm going to pick the first one. Yeah. Uh, now I've got no idea what to pick for the sound. Um, oh, we've got to go to Roland. I'm going to pick Sound Blaster instead. All right. Mouse and keyboard, we're going to use mouse Ooh. and keyboard. Oh, here we go. A MicroProse <laughs> presentation. So MicroProse made it. Yeah. Well, Sid Meier did. But it was marketed by MicroProse back in the day. It's designed by Sid Meier with Bruce Shelley. Bruce Shelley? Who's Bruce Shelley? Well, apparently the first two people to ever play Civ were called Bruce. Oh. Look at all these uh, credits. Credits rolling. Wow. How did this song never, like, get famous? We should use this song at the end of our series instead of Baba Yetu. We should. So I had to I had to get this this game from Abandonware, right? Because it's not on GOG, it's not on like Steam, it's not anywhere, right? You have to get it there's like a I'd probably buy it on CD. You could probably buy a copy on floppy disk. Oh yeah, true. Um but it's like totally abandoned it feels like um to get, if i tell me if i'm wrong Wait, what they're still patching it then there's no there's no patches <laughs> 1992 like they didn't even release patches back in the day like there's a there's a fan made patch that i've installed <laughs> oh i like the smoothing on their pixels yeah now this i don't know if this is the original font but this is the font we're stuck with i've tried to change it i've tried to fix it it looks like it was a pixely font but they've got some kind of graphic filter on that is that is blurring it I think that might be DOSBox. I think this yeah. might be original. It's like when you emulate a, um, a Game Boy game and you can like, smooth it all out. Let's click start a new game. Um, okay, so now we get another cutscene, which follows on from the intro cutscene. Wow. In the beginning, the Earth was without form and void. This is really starting back in the day. Um, oh, what, what, what era do we start in here? The later Civ <laughs> games do not start this early. <laughs> 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 Deep inside the brittle crust of Earth were forces waiting to release. The sea part seas parted and great continents were formed. Oh my god. Looks like some kind of squid monster. Earthquakes spawned massive tidal waves. Volcanoes erupted. Now, there's no volcanoes in this game. And spewed forth fiery lava. Um, they do make it into future games. Well, they already erupted. And charged the atmosphere with strange gases. Into this swirling maelstrom of fire and air and water, the first stirrings of life appeared. Isn't this mental? Wow. <laughs> Tiny organism cells and amoeba. Those are big amoebas. I oh, know, clinging <laughs> to tiny sheltered habitats. Got the size of that dragonfly. But the seeds of life grew and strengthened and spread and diversified and prospered. And soon every continent and climate teemed with life. Oh, there's dinosaurs. It's picking up, isn't it? And with life came instinct and specialization, natural selection, reptiles, dinosaurs and mammals. And finally there evolved a species. <laughs> Known as man. <laughs> <laughs> and there appeared. Oh, here we go. The first faint glimmers of, sometimes it's really slow, intelligence. And sometimes it's, the subtitles are really fast. It's weird, huh? They said that dinosaurs were intelligent. The fruits of intelligence were many. Fire tools and weapons, the hunt, farming, and the sharing of food, the family, the village, and the tribe. Now it required but one more ingredient. A great leader. Yeah, all those things that were described were, uh, uh, can also be applied to ants or bees. It's true. To unite the quarrelling tribes. 
to harness the power of the land. A great leader to build a legacy. I guess that's supposed to be us, this yeah. great leader. That would stand the test of time. The almighty God King. Are we ready? Oh, wow. A civilization. Wow. Look how good this is, huh? The nice pixel art. That's nice, really nice, yeah. Ooh. So we can choose to be dwarf at the top, honeydew dwarf, um, guy with sword, king with sword, or emperor. This is difficulty here. <laughs> I know. So we don't want to be, I think we want to go pretty easy, right? Warlord? I think we want to go prince. Do you know what you're doing? Right. Well, I haven't played this. No, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go warlord, because I don't know. If no, I no, we'll go prince. It. Oh my god, you, you're crazy. Well, it's super hard. <laughs> What's the level? Well, we'll die, and then we'll move on to the next game. We're going to do all the games, by the way. This is our series where we do all the games. Forgot to mention that. Uh, go on, Duncan. What, what does this mean? Oh, this is how many other sieves you want. Okay, we want to have four more. Four more. Yeah. Well, then, but, but then what if we don't find anyone for ages? What if the world's too big? Can you not change the map size? No. No. Five, then. <laughs> Seven's way too many. Uh, these are the sieves you can pick from. Romans. Oh, so you were saying the other day that the only one that is in all the games is Egypt. Well, no. Uh, all the, There's quite a lot. There's like ten that are in all the mainline games. The mainline each sieve. But in the side games like Call to Power right. and all of the other ones. There's only like a couple that I think Egypt persists through a lot of them. Let's go Egypt then. Because we can play, I mean, well, if we play Egypt, we can play Egypt in every game, Lewis. I know. According to Sid Meier's biography though, he always plays Rome and he prefers Rome. <laughs> um, I think we'll play Egypt. I think Egypt's the most iconic, right? Also, I just like that we, if we if we play all the games, then we can just play Egypt every time. It's true. I'm going to pick... If, all right, fine. We'll make that a thing. Mm. We'll, we'll always pick Egypt. We'll always build the pyramids. Because what have the Romans got as their legendary wonder? Do you know what I mean? Uh, Nothing. Colosseum, I guess. Oh, yeah, you're right. Actually, that one is pretty, pretty iconic. Ramesses, you have risen to become leader of the Egyptians. May your reign be long and prosperous. The Egyptians have knowledge of irrigation, mining, pottery, and roads. Well, that sounds like quite a lot of tech. Whoa. And here we are. Is that a settler? <laughs> Yes, it is. Okay. Right. <laughs> that's an awful place to settle. Yeah, that's a real bad settle spot. Um, so we can't actually... Normally what you could do is you can right-click on areas of the land and look at them in more detail. Like if you can look at them up in the Civilopedia, right? Mm. Um, so I can look up terrain types. I can be like oh, grassland. God. I can be like, here's grassland. Well, this is what it does. It's got one food to production. It's kind of crazy that that has not changed. That forest terrain type is exactly the same as it is now. One food, two production. So some stuff has stayed the same. Base grassland, though, bad. It's a bad grassland. Two food, no production. Three with irrigation, though. Yeah. Mm. Production zero or one units. I'm not sure what that actually means. Trade zero. I think trade is coin. And then there's one. That's a weird symbol, isn't it? With roads. Mm. I don't know what that means. Yeah, so there's terrain types. That's coal there, you can see. Looks looks good, doesn't it? Uh, all right, anyway, we're going to move because this is a bad location. Oh. Ah, that is a goodie hut. However, in this game, there's a chance <laughs> that that will spawn barbarians. Right, so you don't really want to send a settler there. Uh, we could just do it just for fun. Settle, settle there. Why? What is that tile you're standing on? I don't know. Um, I think it... I, oh, it's a desert. Oh, it is? <laughs> Which is obviously oh, an incredibly no. bad time. Well, we are Egypt. <laughs> yeah, but there's no benefit to being <laughs> on a desert. I, I feel like desert... I'll look at the Civilopedia <laughs> for terrain type desert, but I'm pretty sure it's the worst one. Food zero. Uh, one with irrigation production. One. Trade zero. <laughs> so, really bad. Right. It's not great. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's about as bad as it, it can get. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep, going. Let's keep going. Um, oh no! There's another goodie hut. Okay, look, there's a river there. We gotta, we gotta settle in the river. We could settle probably on the river. Yeah. So how about right there? Here. Sure. Okay. So B, press B. I'm pressing B. But you can set right on the river. Yeah. Why not? I guess so. Uh, there oh. we go. Thebes found it. Oh, look at this little video. So we didn't get to settle immediately. We we did have to spend three three turns, several turns moving. Is that normal? 
Um, I don't know. I haven't played this game for a long time. Oh, look at this. This this is this is the so this I guess is two food, one production and one Holy shit, really? Whatever this resource is here. Arrows. Uh, this looks like money. Gold. Uh this is where we're building. This is the palace, so this is what we start with in our capital. Yeah. Um we are too happy. Even though there's one guy. We've got one guy with too happy. That's the map. Useful. Uh, oh. This is what our city looks like. That's our one guy there at the bottom. Okay. So what we're making, is that, is that a scout or is it a warrior? This, I think, is a militia. Oh. But we're just going to build a settler instead. Really? Um, I feel like we need uh, we need a militia to go exploring. We want to get those goodie huts, man. Yeah, but those goodie huts might not have nothing in them that oh. we want. Fine, let's get a militia. Fine. We'll, do, we'll, we'll stick to our civ plan. You've got to get a unit out first. You don't even start with a with a scout. Okay, so end turn. Press enter to continue. End, end turn. turn. Press enter to continue. End, end turn. turn. Press enter to continue. End turn. Press enter to continue. Yay! There we go. We have a dude. Got a boy. Uh, so let's run him out. Uh, you have discovered scrolls of ancient wisdom. Oh my god! Is we we've learned the alphabet. The alphabet. <laughs> oh my god! See, that was so worth it. So the alphabet is a group of symbols that represents phonemes, sounds that humans can make or distinguish. I'm not <laughs> going to read all of this because, for goodness sake. <laughs> However, having the alphabet doesn't give you anything at all. It only allows, it only unlocks other texts. Right. So not very helpful. I, I mean, I, no, I'd say it's pretty helpful. We'll have to research it eventually. Uh, and let's go to, so I'm going to press G and press go to. So he's just going to uh, go there. Wait, what's the city building now? I've unleashed a horde. Good thing I didn't take that oh, turn one. Good grief! I'm gonna have to send my other. My oh, you, made, you, I, you made another. You made another. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry. Boy. I made another militia. Well, that's probably useful since this just happened. Um, because that just killed you. Yeah, it did. Um, well, it's a bad start. <laughs> it's a bad start. Um. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, fuck. oh my god. Oh fuck. <laughs> Maybe just leave them. <laughs> I can't do anything. I'm building up another militia. Well, I don't think you can beat these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I need to run back. Put him on that. Keep him on the city. He might get a defense bonus. Oh. Yes. We got one. Okay. So, which tech do we want? We got. Code of Laws, map making. I feel like we should get horseback riding. You think? Immediately into horseback riding, sure. We could get some horsemen. That'll help us out. There's, I mean, the barbs are pretty scary. Okay, we've got two militia now. So now we need to stop. We really need to stop with settlers a while ago, but we're going to do it now. You think? Okay. Yeah. I think I feel like if we did, they would have just got murdered. Oh, oh you've discovered a nice. skilled, friendly tribe of skilled mercenaries. What are they then? Are they like soldiers? Do we think? Uh, oh, oh they've got a, a legion. A legion! Wow, well, that's quite an advanced unit. I well, think. take take that oh, to shit. go and kill the barb, I guess. Oh my god! Oh fuck! Oh my god! There's legions. Okay, goody hunts are pretty fucking scary. <laughs> Look at They're that! They're not really goodies, are they? No. They're not really goody huts at all. There's barbarians everywhere. Okay, I'm running the legion back. Oh, oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh no. <laughs> god, you okay. need a big ass army, don't you? So this is the um Oh I know this song. <laughs> do you? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean you know this song? How do you know this song? This might have been in later Civ games. The people spontaneously decide to recognize your many years of enlightened leadership. They've got together to build an addition to our palace. Now, what section of our palace do we want to improve? Um, the fortifications. <laughs> what, this bit? The middle bit? You don't want to get a nice roadway? You don't want to get, like, a hedge? Oh, actually, a hedge could be kind of cool. What do you want? What do you, want? you choose. Four. Four. Okay, now you get to pick which yeah, the, one of these the you want The castle, we're going to need it. <laughs> 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 Hooray! It's just a facade. <laughs> well, we're still living in a hut, yeah, but it's covering up that. Okay, uh... We're still shit. making a settler. And we got, we got a militia defending us in case they attack. 
Oh no, it's not going to help. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. I'm ending turns. I'm ending lots of turns. We're on turn, God knows. Settlers, finally here. Be careful with this, Settler. <laughs> Why? Get it get it down quick. Uh, I think you're going to take it over here. Now, okay. Can I have it near the sea, maybe? Get, get some boats out? Yeah, we'll put it, like, here. Memphis. Okay, Memphis is founded. And we have a second city. Oh. Pretty cool. Finally. Uh, we'll, we'll build a militia just to defend that. And then we end turn for a while. Well, what's Thebes making? I think it's building another settler. Okay. Just make something until you tell it not to. Oh, it's got a lot of food storage. Jeez. I don't know what this is used for. I think it's I think it's used for like upkeep of units and stuff. All right. Um, there's that bloody thing. What's, what's that you just stood on? That's that's gems. Ooh. Oh, and by the way, that's Sid Meier there on the left. It is. <laughs> yeah, it looks like him, doesn't it? Do you not recognise him? Um, <laughs> it looks exactly like him. Egyptian wise men discover the secret of horseback riding. Horses, are, horses, are some history of horses there, and we can now build chivalry. Fantastic! What, we can now be, build what the barbarians have been attacking us with for for hundreds of years. What do you want to do next? Well, uh, we probably get writing out soon, right? I think we should get bronze working. I think it lets you build like a better defensive unit. Well, we got cavalry uh, now. Oh, ooh, flight. Okay, no, no, this. All right, now, okay, this, Duncan, is. Copy protection. Oh. Now, back in the day, if you bought this game, well, we could probably you figure could it just out. Download it onto your computer, right? And if you did so, um, you would just be able to return the game straight back to the place you bought it from without having to pay. Right. right. You just borrow it, install it. So this meant that you had to hold on to the manual, right? Which I have downloaded here in the background. Okay, well, I I mean, I, I could probably figure it out, though. Go on, what's your guess, then? Um, advanced flight and electronics. You think the stealth bomber yeah. tech needs advanced flight and electronics? Yeah. The people oh! laugh at your feeble answer. You have one last chance to prove your royal birth. Check your manual carefully. What was the answer? Uh, well, it was... Stealth bomber's, like, the latest... The latest. Flight and electricity. Oh, I guess the ones you said are not in the game. Right. Or it just looks like a more technology advanced plane than that, doesn't it? So n now, if I get this wrong, it will delete all of my units. <laughs> 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 Which is bad. Have you got many? <laughs> not actually that many, no. So are the answers in here? 111, yeah. So it's religion, philosophy and writing. Right. Um, philosophy and writing. Congratulations! Sorry, let me put this back into full screen. Uh, then I have to save it. Oh God! Uh, so I'm saving it, and then this guy's coming for me. Oh my God! Um, so the, these guys, by the way, have stats like attack, defense, move. Right. So my militia is only attack one, yeah, defense yeah. one, move one. Whereas that legion, can you just can you just buy a cavalry outright? Buy it. Uh, not now. There's a buy button over there. Well, yes, but if I buy it now, it won't get done till the end of the turn. Right. Oh, well, he's, he's one turn away. Okay, so I could change it to cavalry. That will waste some hammers. Honestly, it's like, are we dead? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> um, so there's the cavalry. Now, the cavalry... So I need to, I should really attack with this, because the cavalry is 2-1-2, two, two, whereas the legion is 3-1-1, one, one, I think. Oh, God. So... If he attacks my cavalry, it will only get one defense and his legion will get three. So I'm better off attacking him yep. here. Even though I have the defense you did bonus. It. Do they have oh, health? We, we we saw him off. No, they don't. They're just one one life. Wow. We should go back to doing settlers again. Because we need more cities. Oh, we need to get this guy on settlers as well. Now I did mention I forgot to mention, settlers are also workers in this game. Oh okay. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. And it is weird. Um, is that gold over there? Oh, look at all that those. That is look, gold. All that fruit and stuff. Look at all this stuff. I know. Oh. Got a big continent. Set all these resources. Of stuff to explore. Now, we really need to get some cities out, though, because now we've cleared the barbs. 
They won't spawn. The barbs that we spawned. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those barbs have really caused enormous issues to us. Um. Okay. Get out there, folks. This does look like gold, doesn't it? Yeah. Gold in these mountains. It is. Six trade. Wow. That's a lot of money. So we could do with hooking that up for sure. Um. Fish. I see a fish. Wow, this is a big place. All right, settlers. All right. So I lost. You lose a pot when you get settlers. Yeah, yeah. But I think we just need we just need them real bad. So. I like the the look of the place with the gems. Yeah, you want to head L top left of Memphis. Okay. It's got other things. What are those purple things? Are the eggplants? Uh, these. <laughs> I think that is just. I think this might be swamp. Oh. Oh no, it's jungle. Jungle. It's just jungle. Jungle and gems. All right. Oh, okay, okay, I'm not actually that excited about that anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, let's get that gold. And I'm gonna build a road so we can expand quicker. Oh, there's a horse. That is a horse. Yes, that's a horse. Just a horse. He's beautiful. It's just a just a simple horse. He looks he looks lovely. All right, we shall we expand this way. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't even explored up there yet. All right, and we'll send this guy back to up here. Go! And we'll send this guy to here. And then we'll send this guy over here. Oh, so you're making roads as you go? Yeah, well, why not? Yeah. It'll save me time later. And then... I guess we'll go here. Do they have a certain amount of builds, or they just live, live forever? Well, again, I think they deplete the food the longer they're out, effectively. Okay... But, yeah, I don't recall. Wow, so this is actually secure. This island is secure. I could just check this end. Yeah. Well, this top left is, isn't explored yet. Better road there. Okay. Bronze working. We're getting there. And, and now, we're, now we're like, suddenly the game is like... Opened up. Happening. Yeah, right? they make a phalanx. So this gives the, the phalanx their two defense. So they're actually much better for defending. What do you want now? Maybe the wheel? Yeah. Let's get the wheel. Now, I don't know how far behind we are in terms of other sieves, and we've not found any other sieves. And we're, like, on our own island, which is really weird. It still might connect at the top. It might connect to the top, yeah. So I should probably send the horseman up there once I know it's safe to do so. Okay. Um, so let's send him up to here. All right, and then where shall we settle this city here? This this one, do you think? Yeah. Or Oryx. 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 Founded. Two thousand four forty BC. It's still it's still it's real old timey. Getting along though. Teepees. Uh, uh, we should build a phalanx. Yeah, yeah. To defend it, because this is likely to be the place where they're going to attack. Uh, where would you like to settle here? Maybe on this. Let's get those horses. On this hill. Oh, you want to, yeah, because of gold. Um, yeah, on the hill. Yeah, let's go on the hill. All right. And we get more settlers. Okay, we're just going to settle. We're just going to spam settlers. That's all we're going to build until we've got all of our cities down, okay? Is this right? <laughs> I think so. I think this is how Potato Whiskey would play, right? Yeah, maybe. Settlers. There's probably some exploit where you can, like... Um... Get that road between Thebes done. Oh, what, here? And Memphis? Yeah, and then go to the top right, maybe. Space there. What, a forward, a forward set? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, crap, Zimbabwe has built the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Plus one happy face in each city until the development of invention. Requires probably 300 shields that costs. Hmm. There's no way we could have built that. Maybe if we'd not wasted quite so much of our resources in the early game. They might have just been building it since the start. So I can irrigate as well, which is like build a farm. But I don't know if Thebes is using these tiles. Oh, I might do. So what do you think of the game so far? Uh, I mean, it's recognisably Civ, isn't it? Uh, just about, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing else here. Oh my god, I'm, I'm actually isolated on this island. We didn't, <laughs> get, we didn't spawn with any AI. Weird. So I irrigated that tile. Okay, so that's like a farm. It's now a farm. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? So I guess we didn't need to build that phalanx, but never mind, we did it. 
So we can just focus on Sim City now. We don't have to worry about war. Yeah, let's send our troops back to. Um... We should probably get some ocean techs, though. You think? Yeah. There's a lot of fish around, and uh, we have to sail at some point. All right, good idea. So that's a gr that's a great idea, Tucker. I love that. Let's build settlers in every city and colonize this whole place, and then get tech into fishing. How about that? Yeah. Um, building settlers everywhere. This is the strat we're going with. We need a, I think we need a couple more coastal cities, uh, cities too. Oh, good point. Well, they actually have cap that one's coastal. It's a surprising, surprising amount of them are already coastal. Um, what shall we go down here then? And settle like here. Yeah, we'll get those fish underneath it. Go on, maybe get what down here. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh no! A barbarian uprising. Oh shit! That's a thing. And there's a leader with a little top hat. What is he? I don't know, but I'm worried. You need to make some boys. You've got nothing in that city. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> build a, let's build a phalanx, and that should hopefully defend it. And then we'll send our um, car down. Uh, let's build a mine. <laughs> yeah? Build a mine. Maybe I should build a mine on this, um, mm. on this as well, actually. Oh, wow, look, I can actually go out here. There's two cavalry. Oh, jeez. Now... I should be the one attacking, I guess. With the but cavalry. I'll fortify anyway. Okay, I'm fortifying in that Sally out. In that city. I hope I hope we'll be able to defend. Can you get another phalanx? Uh I th I think I can, yeah, probably. Oh. Oh. Okay, that went well. Oh, what happened here? I built a settler. No, the road didn't build. Also no, I built I built a settler in this city, but it consumed the last pop. Oh my god. <laughs> And so you only had one pop, and so it didn't build. It just took this whole city. It just destroyed the city. Yeah, yeah. That's so weird. Huh. What a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you got the settler back, I guess. It raised the city. <laughs>